Welcome back to another episode of TVGP's We Rogue Like It. I'm your host, Boston, and joining me as always is Moonpeer. Hi. Uh, we're here on week two of Mana Spark. Uh, I did... So, <laughs> I forgot to mention uh, the setting that's on by default last week that we complained about in a game a couple of games ago. I really appreciate this game having a move faster out of combat option, and it's on by default. Yes. Thank yes, you. Yes, it is. Thank you, developers. I love you so much. Game of the year. Thank you. Thank you so much. I love it. Um, <laughs> no, that's not for another month, dude. <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's right. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Um, yeah. What did um, I? I did a couple of runs this week. How how did your runs go? I'll I'll start with you. I mean, we discussed our own pre-show. I didn't have a whole lot of time slash energy this week to play a whole lot of stuff so my section will be low and slow um i don't know i did a couple of runs i have made it up to the boss once and then probably got my crap pushed in by a stupid eyeball laser um, right he lasered you up up one side and down the other <sighs> honestly just down the other he doesn't even <laughs> have to go up one side he can just, just right through down you. the other side and it's absolutely <laughs> fine yeah. um but most of it was just like, especially when playing roguelikes, it's that thing of like, you just keep making stupid mistakes over yeah. and over and over again. And then it's like, maybe I'm not in the right head space for this right now. Right. I, I know that that skeleton with the shield is going to, to dash at me and then dash at me again. And it's getting me every time with the second dash. Maybe I should just take a break for today. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Pretty much where I ended up on was exactly that point where it was just like, yeah, I'm not making any progress and I'm not getting any, you know, souls, ether, whatever the blue things are called. Yeah. To make blue any progress currency. real. So Yeah. I'm just gonna take a step away, we'll say. Yeah. Yeah. That that was me for most <laughs> for most of the week this week. Um I I did recruit the character. We talked about him last week that was in the jail cell and didn't want to talk to you. Um, the method of unlocking them is exactly what you thought it was. Uh, so props to you for, for sort of figuring out the puzzle. Um, turn off the lights. Who turned off the lights? Hey, who turned, <laughs> who turned off, off the off lights? The lights? Um, no, it was actually shooting through that brazier in the middle and lighting all four of the uh the, okay the lanterns or you know, whatever that they're called um so that's the fourth character i've unlocked um oh. that that one's actually really interesting so it's a knight and it's a sword and board knight so it there's no ranged attacks at all and there's actually no roll dodge you just hold up your shield with that wet with that okay button. So, it changes the gameplay pretty considerably, but I like it a lot, actually. Um, I think it feels... It, it's one of those ones where it's like, oh, cool, the other three characters are all about dodging and rolling and using ranged attacks. And, you know, the one character has the, the dog. That's the one I've been playing as most. Um, so, I don't think this is going to work as, as, like, a sword and board kind of character, but it I think it works pretty well, actually. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, I don't, I forgot to talk about this last week too. One of the things I really like about this game, and I feel like is one of the, the things we often don't see very often in roguelikes, at least the ones we've been playing, is when you die in this game, you get two options. One is just go back to the camp and there's always a red exclamation mark if you can buy something in the camp with whatever your blue raspberry tokens are. Um, yes. And the other option is just like do another run or whatever it's called. I like that the option for doing another run randomizes your character. So it just picks one of the four that you have unlocked, gives you some sort of starting item and then gives you a benefit. So it pulls three cards First one is character, second one is artifact, and third one is a random benefit. Uh, like, oh, you start with five gold. 
or you start with an armor orb, or you take one artifact at random from the last run you just did, or something like that. Um, I, I like that a lot, because I like not only being able to go back into a run very quickly, but also to have yes. the next run be something different than, oh, I'm just going to do the same character over again, I'll try and get the same build. It's like, no, I, I get some randomization, and I get some benefit, and I like the kind of combination of of the two there. Um, thought that was thought that was neat. There's also I don't I don't even remember what it's called, um, but there are a bunch of special rooms. Kind of reminds me a lot of Isaac, where you have like a sacrifice room and you have a like a boss fight room, and you have here's a bunch of enemies that sort of room. There was one yes. that I did that and i don't remember which one it was i really wish i did because the benefit is cool um but i did a whole bunch of stuff i think i fought multiple waves of enemies and there were quite a few enemies um but at the end it let me the the option it said was like um do something to like connect or burn an item onto your soul and i was like sure so i picked the uh, the um we talked about it last week the 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 isaac reference where it shoots a, oh uh, yeah shoots a fireball the necklace yeah i had that on me and i was like well it shoots a fireball I, I feel like maybe that will be a good thing if i do by doing that i have that item equipped to that character permanently so, like, at the beginning of every run and forever until, I guess, maybe if I uh, uh, replace it with something, I just have that permanently from the very first room of the run. I was like, wow, that is incredibly strong. And maybe for some of the other characters, I should pick that, that like, leaf or whatever that does the, the two shots the at once. Yeah. I was oh. like, man, that's... Okay, I got... Once I remember what room that was, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be super strong. All right, here we go. Um, oh yeah, yeah. That's not. I need to find that room to begin with, to be honest. But yeah, the, so you you found it. The the Isaac reference I, I was talking about then. I did, and I picked as soon as I saw it drop, and I was like, ah, that's an Isaac reference. Moon was right. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If it it's isn't the art style, it's so it's so distinctive. Yeah. There there was also. Um, an eggplant I picked up that was called the Spelunker's Eggplant. I was like, okay, so you got a couple of you got a couple of fun references in here that are all kind of they're not you know Neon Abyss outright was, like hey it's this thing literally what I was saying <laughs> right. what I was thinking to myself was so it's not okay so it's not Neon Abyss right of, it's oh. the Assassin's Cowl it's like uh, okay I got it yep you're I see what you're referencing um, but yeah there's a couple of little ones here and there. Of, I I wish there was some some of the items I wish the description was a little bit better because um, uh -huh. like the goblin's ear when you pick it up it's like coin luck up I was like what does that mean do do yes. I have a chance to pick up find more coins do I get more coins right or kill people like what's the situation or does do the coins picking them up give me luck is that a stat that I have that I don't know about like there's a little bit most of the yeah. items I've found so far have been very clear about what they do um, but that's the one where I'm like I don't think I understand what you're asking of me here so yeah yeah um, yeah I'm I'm still having a good time with with mass spark it's hard <laughs> i I'm, uh -huh. i made it to the second boss and uh i don't know how to fight or damage that boss so i'm gonna have to figure out what that is i'm not sure if my little buddies were maybe tripping the boss up because pets in this game are really strong uh, especially like the spider and the bat buddies are really good. Um, yeah. But so I'm not sure if that was kind of affecting the boss, but uh, that one was uh, pretty confusing. I don't, I don't know what I was doing. I don't know what I was doing there. Um, 
but yeah, it's still good, but uh, it's still really hard. Yeah, it I it doesn't. It's interesting because so far it doesn't feel um, unfair. Like the challenge feels fair a lot of the times. Like you said, it's just me being impatient or making stupid decisions or t being too risky or something like that. Um, mm -hmm. But it 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 is very clearly uh, ready to kind of knock you down a peg if you're being dumb, which yeah, I appreciate. It's been a while since we played one of those, so. Uh, any final thoughts here on uh, week two of Mana Spark? Uh, nothing yet. Hopefully I get a lot more time to play it this week. I won't. Yeah. Hopefully I get time <laughs> to play it this week. I may. Right. Right. Uh, all right. Well, thank you for joining us. Hope you're enjoying Mana Spark as well. And we'll see you all next run. Bye. Bye.